Yeah, and don't don't suppress her free speech because you're welcome to ask us questions. We don't bite. We're we're nice. Yeah, we just love to answer questions. Christian. What's that? This is not Christian. What What do you mean? Are you a Christian? My mom is. No. Well, your mom is, but you're not. So where will you go when you die? Do you know? Probably nowhere. Probably nowhere. Are you a good enough person to go to heaven if there is a heaven? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. So have you have you obeyed the Ten Commandments? Do you think? Uh, but I mean, like really, have you lied before? Yeah. And have you stolen? Mm -hmm. So you're a lying thief, right? Yeah. yeah and, and have you used God's name in vain before? Uh-huh. Yeah, so you're a blaspheming, lying thief, right? Uh-huh. Have you, whore. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And, and, and you have you had sex outside of marriage? Uh-huh. So uh-huh. you're a fornicator, too. Uh-huh. And, and also, I, what I'm getting is that you're also an idolater. You know what that means? That means you made up a God in your own mind. It's one of the greatest uh, sins because when you make up a God in your own mind, you can justify all sorts of sins. The Hitler. No, I haven't made up a God in my mind. I'm human. Well, do you believe God is holy and just and righteous? The right kind of God, yeah. My, the God my mom believes in, the God uh, you believe in. Do, is clearly does not. your mom believe that this is sin, being homosexual? No, she doesn't. Okay, so she has a different God then. Yeah, so that's idolatry. But so, what he's trying to get at is, do you understand that we're, we're only representing the God of the Bible. And we're just saying the Bible's our The Bible doesn't say anything about being against women. Like sure, being sure, sure, against like gay people. Are you trying to show you the three verses? Yeah, I know, I appreciate it. Like, got some really good websites in the back. Yeah, there you go. Awesome. Yeah, look them up. It's really good information. Uh, claim to be wise, you became fools and exchanged the glory of the mortal God for images resembling mortal man and birds and animals and creeping things. That's the idolatry part. Therefore, God gave them up to the lusts of their hearts, to impurity, to the dishonoring of their bodies among themselves, because they exchanged truth of God for a lie and worship of the creature rather than creator is blessed above all. Amen. For this reason, God gave them up to dishonorable passions. For their women exchanged natural relations for those that are contrary to nature. And the men, likewise, gave up natural relations with women and were consumed with passion for one another. Men committing shameless acts with men and receiving in, th- in themselves the due penalty for their error. That's about, the, you know, you know what I mean? Male on male. Female. So that's what the Bible says about that. And it actually says it also in 1 Corinthians 6, um, nine and down, it lists a whole bunch of sins. Do you not know the unrighteous and unherited kingdom of God, not the sin, neither sexually immoral? In other words, that's people that, that's even people who are heterosexual. If you have sex outside of marriage, that's sexually immoral. Pornography, that's sexually immoral. Nor idolaters, nor adulterers, you know, people having sex outside of marriage, cheating on their spouse. Nor, nor men who practice homosexuality, nor thieves, nor the greedy, nor drunkards, nor violent, nor swindlers who inherit the kingdom of God. You want you want me to turn it around too? Get this side. You want to get this side? You kids get well there. Good information there for you. There you go. Yeah, yeah. That's the only. I mean, you know there's gonna be a great many more heterosexuals in hell. All these things we broke. All those things on there are lies, are sins. And like you said, notice it says our. It didn't say your. We don't come out pointing the finger. We're, we're, we've committed a bunch of these sins too. And they've earned us death and hell. But if you trust Jesus, you'll be saved. He'll give you a new heart and a new mind. And he can choose people's sinful in place to be in righteousness. And that's our hope. We're not here to hate anybody. We're it's here to be Well, why is it hateful to want the very best for something? Is it hateful because we disagree? These people are perfectly happy. Okay, but These people are here okay. with their families, okay. with their I spouses. Understand. I understand. These people have built their lives together. Can this I ask you? This is a community event. This is for people that come together who believe in this. Okay. Can I ask you a question? I've never I'm shown up to your church and sitting around in a big, big, you know, real thing and flag. Uh-huh. I've, never, I've never shown up to your church. And which, what would your, if, if you did, what would, if you did, what would be your goal? I, I would not But I mean, but I mean, you're, you're promoting a reason. Why would you? I don't get to talk with you 
Guys, get one of those. Get the information there. Go into all the world. Would you admit this is part of the world? This is part of the world. He said, go into all the world. Some good information there for you. Take one of their pride cards. So we're doing what Jesus told us to do. Going into the world and proclaiming the gospel. So we're doing what He said. So you do care about what we do. Because when we do things we don't like, we disagree. But anybody can do anything wrong by following their their emotions. I mean, because you said, that was the basis of what you just said. People are here because they want to be there having fun. They're doing their thing. We want people to do what's right for the glory of God. We want people to know Jesus. And hey, I just want you guys to know that you're both going to burn in hell. And you guys are a couple of fucking assholes. Please don't litter in their park. You're littering in their park. Do you Where believe you in hell, then? Sure. Do you believe in hell? Sure. We're going to have everlasting life because of Jesus. We want that yeah. for you, too. That's why we have. Yeah, we love you. We don't want you to burn in hell, ma'am. Yeah, yeah. Shredded, shredded. Hey Taylor, can I give you one of those? It's got some good information. Just about what we talked about. But yeah, we're here in love because we don't want people to go to hell. God has saved us from hell. And man, that's an awesome, awesome thing. Become Christians, become uh, part of what Jesus is doing, and that's what we want for these people. So that's the biggest thats the biggest thing we have to dispel when we get here. So, oh, how come you hate us? But it's a loaded question because it's kind of like, did you kill your mother with a baseball bat? Mm-hmm. Like, what, you're already assuming, well, sure, you know. So. Not, but did you get one of these, sir? Sorry, right? um, so technically, it's a first amendment protected act. Yeah. This is a public problem, so we can't... But they permitted it on to not be in the park area itself. But right well, there, unfortunately, it's a public. Unfortunately, it's a public space. They have a right to be. Here. Yeah. Look up. Look up. Gathright versus the city of Portland, and also Mayberry versus the city of Portland. There are two cases. One was just recently. So First Amendment being in a public park. If you look those up legally, we can be here. But, but because we love you, we don't want people. We don't want any of you to burn in hell. I know. We don't I want know, you to die in your sins, you know. But anyway, so what? What's your? I know sorry, that there is a permit that unless unless it's approved by this, that, that any sort of loudspeaker can't be done. Like so. like that one there? No, but that's approved. By yeah, I haven't turned mine on yet. Yeah. Okay. By the way, yeah. Well, so. I would I would suggest not doing that. Yeah, but so, do you know where you're gonna go when you die, sir? I'm gonna try to go into the fucking ground. Well, corpses, yeah, yeah, but your soul, where will your soul go, do you know? That's what we're concerned about. We don't want you to go to hell. Don't die. 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 Don't judge. 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 Don't I'm just asking. Why? Because I'm concerned about your eternity. Because even if you profess to be a Christian and you were here, it would be a sin to participate in something sinful, right? I don't know. You, you know what's sinful? Well, God does, of course. Are, you're not a Christian, right? Are you like an atheist or agnostic or Buddhist or a lot of Buddhists in the homosexual movement? So what? Where are you going to go when you die? Do you know? Well, I mean your body, but your soul. Where will your soul go? So your soul doesn't have compassion? No, I'm asking you, where no, where will your you soul... You don't have compassion? Oh, I do. That's why we're here. That's the, that's the big reason oh, we're man, here. Because bad. we... we did, you, you know, if there was a child drowning in the river over there, and you just stood around and ate potato salad and said, 
wow, what a beautiful day, and the little girl, ah! I don't and you just ignored her, would that be love? I don't see anyone drowning. No, I make it, you know what an analogy is? I, I think a parable, Jesus I think told parables. I, I am, I'm at, trying to get a point, because I want you I to understand why, why we're here. It's, but I could just say, we love you, we don't want you fear? to die in your sin. Why is fear the thing that you're living in? Fear, what do you mean fear? Fear of something different than what you believe. Who has fear of something you different? You are having fear that there's something wrong with people. Well, the only you thing I'm afraid accept. of, I'm afraid that you're going to die and go to hell. That's what I'm afraid of. I'm not, I'm not afraid of homosexuals. Well, actually, homophobic, you know what that means technically? Afraid of the same. Like if I if I almost drowned one time, I'd be homophobic. I'd be afraid of drowning again. Think, afraid of think, the same. Homo, the same. The wrong tree. Phobic, 